You're, you're also a coach, yes. a running coach. What mistakes do you normally see from your clients? Yeah, well, mistakes generally is that people try and follow trends. Uh, people try and follow the fashionable diets. Uh, that's what I kind of find. And that could be like a kale salad diet, um, you know, <laughs> chia seeds, goji berries, and there's a whole you know, mixture of things. And that's all kind of superfoods and healthy and stuff. But I say to my clients, like, you can't run 100 kilometers a week on a freaking lemon juice drink, you know, you can't, you can't do that. Um, and I think also the fact that they're, they try to complicate things. I think just generally as humans, right, we try and complicate everything that, that we do. Uh, and they better keep it simple. And I think I said to you guys at the beginning, you know, I keep my nutrition pretty simple. I eat normal foods, you know, just in big four quantities. Uh, and I think if you look back at some of the great athletes in the world ever, and let's go back right back to the 30s and 40s, those guys that used to eat special nutrition, they had lots of normal food. And I suppose their diary, their, their dietary would look like they'd stop with like a fight for breakfast, probably half of the sandwiches and a piece of cake at lunch. And then top it all off with a, with, with a great dinner, uh, you know. And that's uh, and it still holds with the records today. Mm. And, um, and I think it's quite kind of interesting to look back at that. Um, I had the opportunity actually to meet uh, John Landy. Does anybody here know John Landy? To show of hands, yeah, quite a few. Well, John Landy was the second man to um, to to break the four-minute mile back in the mid '50s. And uh, I had the opportunity to meet him. And uh, he's got a great story. And if I can just share that, absolutely. Um, Joe Landy, um, there was a race to, to, to the first person to have the four minute mile. And as I say, John Landy was second. Um, but the day he actually broke that record, he, um, he'd been out the night before. And I was like, I'll speak to Joe about He said, Yeah, I went out the night before, had a few beers, got up late for a race the next day, and grabbed a pie from the, from the milk bar on the way to the race. <laughs> got there just in time, and broke the four minute mile. I said, Wow, Joe, I can't believe that. That, that, actually, that actually happened. I, I watched a, a movie about this and I kind of saw that. And he goes, well actually it didn't, it's actually a bit of a lie. This didn't actually actually happen. He said, I actually had two big pies on the show on Sunday. And he was in a strike on the comment. But it's about what all the stuff in the lead up to that ask is. You could probably get a you can get